This video is going to discuss multiplying polynomials with generic rectangles, and this goes under standard 9.2.3.2. Let's go ahead and get started, and we'll start by reviewing the process. Um, the first step we're going to want to do is to set up our rectangle, our generic rectangle. Now remember, when you're multiplying things together, two sets of parentheses like this, two polynomials, what we're really doing is we're multiplying base times height. So, the first thing that x plus 1, I'm going to set as the base of my rectangle. Now, because it has two terms, now terms are things that are separated with plus or minus signs. Because it has two terms, I'm going to set up the base of my rectangle to have two pieces like that. We'll go ahead and take a look now at the height. And the height also has two terms, or two pieces. So we'll split the height of this rectangle into two pieces as well. And then we'll go ahead and put in the numbers. Now the base is x plus 1, so I'll put an x in one box um, and plus 1 for the other. And the height is 2x plus 3. So up the side we'll put 2x on one of them and the plus 3 on the other. Now that our rectangle is all set up, we're ready to go ahead to the next step. The next step is going to be to multiply to get those insides. Let me just rewrite these here. The first thing we're going to want to do is to multiply the x first with the 2x. And when I do that, it becomes 2x squared. One thing to remember is that x times x always equals x squared, and that's because an x by x tile is what gives us those x squared tiles. We're going to do the same thing again, only now we're going to take that x and we're going to multiply it up here with the 3. So x times 3 gives us a total of 3 x's. Now that we're done with that one, we'll go ahead and do the same thing using the 1. So now we're going to go to the 1 and multiply it with 2x. And 1 times 2x is just 2x. And then once again, we're going to multiply the 1 with the 3. And 1 times 3 is 3. Now that that's finished, we're ready to go on to our next step. The final step would be to combine like terms, meaning to add, to get the final answer. And this is where we just focus specifically on the inside of the rectangle. Now if I look at the inside of the rectangle, I have 2x squared. And then I have some like terms here. Across this diagonal, I have 2x's and 3x's. They total up to be 5x's. And then I've got 3 1's. This would be my final answer, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Now that's what I get when I multiply together x plus 1 and 2x plus 3. Just a review of a little bit of vocabulary we're using in class. The x plus 1 times 2x plus 3 is what we call the area as a product. And that final answer when we multiply them together is the same thing. It's the area. This time it's written as a sum. Let's go ahead and try one more. Um, so we've got 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 5. So remember that first step is going to be to draw the rectangle. And we have base times height. Now both our base and our height each have two pieces. So we'll split it into four boxes total. We'll go ahead and along the bottom there, we'll write the 2x, and that minus with the 1 is going to be brought with the 1. Don't forget that minus 1, the minus, and the 3x plus 5 along the top. So that's step 1. Step 2, remember, is to multiply to get the insides. Now, be careful. When you multiply 3x times 2x, you'll multiply the 3 and the 2 to get 6, but you'll also multiply x and x to get x squared. So this bottom box is a 6x squared. 5 times 2x totals 10x's. 
Now here's where we want to make sure we bring that negative with the 1. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x, and negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Remember the final step then would be to total up what we have. We've got 6x squared. On the diagonal, I've got 10x's and negative 3x's. That adds up to be 7x's. And then we've got a minus 5. And there's our final answer written as a sum. You can go ahead now and practice some more on your own.